Welcome to the section on basic concepts. In this particular section, we will cover the foundational elements of Swift, including variables, constants, data types, and basic operators. So those are the four things that I've divided this video into first variables and constants, data types, type inference, and basic operators. Now let's dive into, I already created a project, a playground here, where I have nothing but the sections that we are gonna cover, so we can go over them one at a time. Now for variables and constants in Swift, you use variables and constants to store values. Variables are defined using the VAR or var keyword and the constant use the let or the let keyword. Variables, you can change the value of the variable after it's been set. For constants, once a constant is assigned, a value, uh, assigned a value, it cannot be changed. So let's go ahead and start with the variable. So variable var, that's how you start. Give it a name like my variable and then give it a value, for example, 42. I can now change the value of this my variable by saying my variable equal to 50. For constants, I can say let my constant is the name. You can use any name that you want, 42. Now, if I try to change this, it will give me an error. So you should not be doing this in here. As you see, it says let is a constant. You can't change it. If I run this particular project, it will work perfectly fine. Uh, I'm not printing anything here, but these this is how you'll create my uh, variables and constants. Next, look at next. Let's look at data types. Now, Swift is a type safe language, meaning it enforces type to ensure your code is clear and safe. Here are some uh, some of the basic data types in Swift include int, which represents an integer. We also have double and float, which represents floating point numbers. Double has a double precision, while float has a single precision. We have boolean, represents a boolean value, which is true or false. We have string, which represents a sequence of characters. And we also have character, which represents a single character. Now, let's look at some of the examples, so you can probably learn along. So I create a variable, I'll name it integer. Now if I want to specifically say, tell Swift that it's an integer, you use colon, you say int and assign a value of integer. Okay. Now for floating point, I can say, let's say floating point, I'll say it is a double, this is a double precision, 10.5 is the value. I can say boolean and say this is of type bool and the value is you can assign true or false values to this particular variable we have text which is string so i can say this is string and it is hello swift a set of characters and then you have character which is of the type again character and it is can take one character at a time, so A. So this, this is, these are different data types that are supported. Next, let's look at type inference. Now Swift can often infer the type of a variable or constant based on its initial value. So you don't always need to explicitly declare the type as we have done here with the colon and the type. So for what do I mean by that? So let's look at, I say let inferred integer equal to 42. So in this case, Swift infers this is of the type int because I've given integer value. Similarly, I can say inferred double by giving it a value of, let's say 3.14. It knows that it's of the type double because the value is double. Similarly, I can do the same thing for a Boolean by saying this is true or false. Similarly, if I want to do a string, I can oop, do give a Swift is fun, something like this. So this Swift infers this as of the type string. So you don't have to always do it, but sometimes it's a good practice to assign. So people who are, if you're creating something and you're not assigning values, it's always helpful and it's good practice in general. 
Now let's look at basic operation operators. Now operators are symbols used to perform operations on values. You probably learned some of them in school. Um, some of the basic operators include arithmetic operators, which is plus, minus, multiplication, which is used by star, divide, which is slash, or modulus, which is percentage. We have assignment operator, which is a single equal to. We have comparison operators, which is double equal to, not equal to, less than, greater than, less than equal to, greater than equal to. And we have some logical operators like and, or, uh, not, uh, and is by double and sign. Uh, or is by double pipe and then you have not by using exclamation point. So let's look at uh, some of these examples. For example, let's say I want to do an addition variable. You can say five plus three. Again, I've not assigned what value it is. It's or it will based on the answer five plus three, eight, it will say it's of the type. It will infer the value of this. Similarly, let's say sub subtraction. 5 minus 3 so that's these are the arithmetic operations that I'm talking about so you know next is multiplication equal to 5 these are the same numbers and then let division equal to 5 divided by 3 I can have reminder remain sorry remainder which is let's say 5 modulus 3 now what this gives is uh, it will give you the remainder which is five three times three times one three times one is three so the remainder is two so it will give you a value of one next we have sorry a value of two and uh, next let's look at the look at the comparison operators let's say let is equal equal to five double equal three so what this will do is this will check the value five is it equal to three by using the comparison operator and assign the value to is equal so in this case it is a boolean because what happens is it will look at what is five is five equal to three no so it will say uh, it's not equal so it's going to say false but if i say five double equal to five it will have a value of true let is not equal equal to is 5 not equal to 3 so it will do the math here is 5 not equal to true which is true and that's what it will assign this variable or constant let is greater is equal to 5 is greater than 3 so it will it will assign true in this case because 5 is greater than true similarly let's let me just make some space here move it up is greater is lesser equal to 5 is less than 3 in this case it will say false let is greater or equal equal to 5 is greater than or equal to 5 since it's equal it will say true in this case let is lesser or equal I'll say 5 is less than or equal to 3 which is false in this case because 5 is not less than or equal to 3 so it will assign false value there look at some of the logical operators like let uh, let's look at all first so I'll say logical and equal to true and some programming languages use and but in swift we use double and and i can say false so in this case this is true and false which by logical operation is false so false will be assigned if it's true and true then it will be true in this case so what else do we have let logical or this video cs session doesn't uh, cover logic so if you want to brush up on your logics you can look at some other videos but in this case I'm using a logical or where I'm saying true or false which in this case uh, as per the logical operations true or false is true and that's what will be assigned to logical or and then we have logical not 
which is using exclamation mark and I say true which me which will assign it false because whatever value I give it will negate it and assign it here so these are some of the basic uh, operators that we have now based on whatever we will learn here let's create a new project I'm going to go and create a new playground I'll call it my playground 2 and here we're going to write some code to learn whatever we have uh, implement or we have implemented and we have to implement whatever we have learned in this particular session so I'm going to say age equal to 25 and I'll say let name equal to Alice so I'm creating a variable and a constant where the constant name is Alice and the age is 25 which is a variable next I'm going to say height is equal to let's say 170 0.5 centimeter which will be a double value and then I'm creating a constant where I'm saying is this person a student and I will assign it the value of true next I'm going to create a constant saying sum equal to age plus 5 and I'm going to create a greeting constant where I will say hello comma plus name this is my constant greeting now if I want to print all these things out I'll say print I have to keep a space here age is age copy this a bunch of times one two three four five six I'm gonna say name is name Oop. say height is height what else do we have is student is student so right make sure you try to do this as and when you watch this video it will be helpful each and every time more and more you practice better it is to learn swift greeting is greeting now if I run this project also open the debug window it takes some time this first time I'm running it launching the playground it's preparing the playground and you'll see all the values are assigned no errors no issues and it will print out whatever I've said above here name age name height a student and sum and greeting everything is here so what you've learned in this particular section is how to declare variables and constants and under, and you understood the differences you explored basic data types and how swift can how swift can infer types you practiced using an arithmetic comparison and logical operators uh, next steps what we'll be doing is with these basic concepts under your belt you'll be ready to move to the control flow which includes conditional statements and loops this will help you control the flow of your programs um, based on different conditions so stay tuned if you have any questions please leave them in the comments